So two episodes ago, I created this video. So it was called Ajax form validation. And uh, the Samuel, the guy that created October actually saw it and <laughs> said it was hard to watch because uh, I probably did my own thing there and uh, didn't do that form validation the way it was intended to be done. So because he saw that video, he actually added some new features to October CMS that would make your Ajax form validation very, very easy and much better than what I showed you before. So I'm redoing that video. I'm going to create a new video about it. It's going to be a quick one, as you will see, because this Ajax form validation is really, really simple to use. So because this form validation is actually a new feature in October, uh, we would have to update it. So this is a good chance to show you that. It's in the build 382. So if we go to updates and plugins, right now I'm on the build 365. So I'm going to check for updates. And as you can see, you can see this, the client side, uh, form extras library now includes form validation, flash message, messages and loading buttons. Uh, so I'm going to update that software and we wait a bit and then we update our October CMS. Okay, so now we are on current build 382 and we can use these extra features that were added to October CMS and you can read about them right here. So we are actually going to use this page to create our own form validation for our form that we have right here. So right now I'm in my uh, contact plugin. So we have a watch learn, contact components, contact form, and then we have those two HTM files. So default HTM and messages HTM and contact form.php. So the way this works right now is when you send the data from the contact form, it hits uh, this method right here. So on send. And then uh, if there is an error or there is a validation error, then it's going to call this uh, partial right here. So it's going to uh, show it in the result div and it's going to call this messages.htm. And then we do some JavaScript right here to highlight the fields that didn't pass the validation. So this is much simpler validation that we, than we had before. And to show you how it, uh, how it is much simpler. I'm going to delete this and also I'm going to delete this and also I'm going to delete this and this. And you don't need this messages.htm file at all. So we just save this. <clears throat> On this page you have actually the complete example of, of what you should do. So this is our form. So we have to copy this out and call it data request validate and also this data request flash. Okay, save it. Uh, now what we need to do is we need to uh, give it a way to show those validation messages. And to do that, you just copy something like this out. So we need the validation. So data validate for name and data validate for email. Okay, save this. And now in our contact form, we are not going to be doing it this way. Uh, we are going to do it much prettier way. So first of all, we are going to define our data. So this post means that it's going to grab all the data that is coming from the contact form. And for the validator, I'm going to rename this to rules. And I'm not going to define the fields that need validation. I'm just going to create these rules right here. So rules for name and rules for email. 
Okay, so now we have rules and now we have to create our validator. And then we just pass him the data and the rules that we need validated. Okay, and now if validator fails, we don't need all of this right here at all. We just need one line of code and we can copy it from this example page. And it says, so throw a new validation exception. Okay. And send the validator. So it's called validation in the example, but we are going to call it validator. Okay, save it. And now I think this should work. As you can see, this is much simpler and much better looking code for this. So I'm going to refresh this contact page and see if this works. So let's just send our form. Okay, so now uh, it says that class validation ex exception was not found. Okay, so this is happening because we have to use the validation ex exception on the top of our file. Save it and now refresh the page. It should work now, I think. So the name field is required but it's not showing us uh, the messages under the, these forms. So I probably screwed something up. So it actually seems I didn't refresh my page well enough or something. So I refreshed it, cleared the cache and so on. And now it works. So if you click send, you get the name field is required, the email field is required. And what's cool about this actually is this. So uh, you can change the validation message. So if you leave it right here, it's going to be the default message, but you can add something like, so you can add your own message right here, save it. And now when you validate it, click send. Uh, okay, let's refresh it again sent and now it says hey how about inputting your name so you can change those validation messages as you please also one more cool feature about this is uh, you can add uh, let me just find it so this data attached loading so paste that in to your button so we have this button type submit and now we should have a loading a circle that is happening on this page. So as you will see right now, so if I click send, I get this thing that is spinning around and informing the user that something is actually happening. Also, you can display all the messages below the form, but when I tested this out, it didn't work. So let me just see if it will work right now. So to do that, Okay, so this right here. It didn't work for me for some reason. It actually displayed just the first message. Uh, oh, and also one more thing that I have to mention right here, and that isn't written in the documentation, you have to put this in your form, not below the form, but in the form. Okay, save it. Let's see if it works. Okay, so I probably screwed something up in my tests or didn't clear the cache or something like that because you now get the email field is required and the name field is required. So you can put those messages right here, you can put them here and you have IX form validation. Okay, so this has been it for this video. Please remember everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. The link will be in the description below. If you want to ask me questions, please follow me on Facebook or on Twitter or ask them in the comment box below this video. Uh, also, if you like the video, of course, give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, you can maybe subscribe to it. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next episode.